Hello everyone, one Susie Gamer here and welcome back to another Crossout episode and 9.9 the update is out. And as I promised, here is the detailed buffs and nerfs review. Okay, junk bow shotgun reloading time is reduced by 17% from 3 to 2.5 seconds. Half second less reloading time. It's really good. And if you're gonna combine it with uh, Colossus Engine, it will be even better. Looks like Jankpo slowly replacing the Fafnir. Piercer Machine Gun maximum spread is reduced by 20%, spread is reduced by 13%, firing range increased by 33%. Instead of double buff, now we have triple buff. MD3 drone, missile explosion no longer deal damage to the owner's armored car. The other drones of the armored car no longer interfere with the old missile. Anaconda turret, uh, rotation speed increased by 150%, reduce the delay before the start of shooting. Kilkazis, firing range increased by 21%. Tackler, now before they said they reduced the durability of it, now they're saying that weapon damage reduced by 11%. Yeah guys, four months ago they nerfed the damage of the tackler. Uh, by 15% and now they nerf it again really bad oh boy and there we go Prometheus 5 weapon durability reduced from 200 to 180 points Capcan mine layer this is gonna make you angry now guys imagine you have only one Capcan mine layer you can't lay a third mine it's limited on two yeah guys as soon as you lay in the third mine, the first will be destroyed. Well, that means no more minefields around the map. Draco. Firing range increased by 10%. Fire rate is increased by 13%. Spread is increased by 47%. Flamethrower firebug. Weapon durability is increased from 392 to 470 points. Really serious buff. Yeah, guys. Now firebug has more durability than executioner cannon. Can you believe this? Wow. It's really weird. Uh, it's not realistic at all. Like, in one side you have armored cannon, and at the other side, uh, just flamethrower with big gas barrel on it. How in the hell it has more durability than a cannon? Cross out. Okay, it's cross out. Forget about that. Firing range increased by 25%. And also you probably see that they changed the new map name to the Nameless Tower It was only Tower before Now the map name is Nameless Tower And also as you heard uh, they added rain sound and lightning sound If you're following me on Facebook on Twitter I posted something about that map The two structures there are actually existing in real life so the tower build is abandoned soviet tv tower which has been destroyed recently now it's not there anymore uh, and the ball shaped structure is the state circus which is still in service both of the structure is located in yekaterinburg it's a city in russia and as you know it's the headquarter of the cross out test so yeah those bastards there they nerfing your weapons and they're buffing it that's some interesting info for you so far it was really good update really satisfied with the new map as i told you before the new raid called still cradle so by destroying the vitons you're getting explosives and you're using those explosives to destroy energy towers Okay, the first tower is destroyed. As you can see, I collected the explosive. Now I'm going to the tower. Yeah, 
And here we go. I'm gonna place the charge. That was not enough. There's two more the charges there. Watch out for the mandrakes. There we go. One guy collecting the explosive. And I'm gonna go to the other one. Oh, by the way, the amount of plastic received from completing normal difficulty rates has been doubled. So yeah, now you're gonna gain more plastics from the normal rate. But right now I'm playing on the hard one. Now I don't want to waste ammo. Oh shit. Okay. Now after destroying this last tower, there's gonna be a really tough Leviathan. So let's see, can we kill it? Now I will recommend you to attack directly to the tower. Do not attack to the turrets because they have lots of health points. Four teammates supposed to focus on the last tower. And also as you can see uh, they changed the animation of some weapons. For example Retcher. As you can see the weapon is bouncing in every shot. Just work from the far distance. And... Okay. The last tower has been destroyed. Now we're going for the boss fight. Now don't forget this is the hard rate, so I don't know about uh, easy and normal leviathans. This is the hard mode leviathan. Okay, here we go, I'm working. It has lots of hit points. Oh my god. And this is it. If you have a good teammate, you can win this. It's all about the teammates. If you want detailed tour of the new map Nameless Tower, go to my previous video. By the way guys, check out my Brick Rigs video. We versus the Tsar tank against the Ratte. It was hilarious, don't forget to check it out. So guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, boom, boom.